Hi, I'm John Wynn from Notebooks.com and in this video we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Novatel MiFi 3G 4G LTE mobile hotspot which is made by Novatel for Verizon Wireless. In the first part of the video we're going to go ahead and see what's in the box and then we're going to go ahead and compare the device to the Sprint 3G 4G MiFi mobile hotspot also from Novatel for Sprint's WiMAX network and then we're going to take a look at the interface on the web browser. Let's go ahead and take a look at the contents inside the box. Inside the retail packaging, oops, when you open it up, you have the Novatel MiFi here on top. You have Verizon's 4G LTE SIM card, which works on the faster network. Verizon claims the network is up to 10 times faster than the 3G network. As you lift off the tray, you have some manuals here. You may want to read the Master Your Device which will give you some of the features and some of the LED light colors for the different network modes. You have a soft case carrying pouch so you can uh, transport your MiFi along in your briefcase without having the device be scratched. You have a wall charger. It looks like this is an international wall charger where you can swap out the the charging head to fit. It comes with the US wall adapter and you also have a micro USB uh, charge and sync port so you can connect the MiFi 3G 4G mobile hotspot to your laptop or computer for charging or to connect to the internet that way. Let's go ahead and take a look at the device and compare it to other 3G 4G mobile hotspots. So we have three mobile hotspots here, all made by Novatel. The first one here is made for AT&T and it uses a SIM card for AT&T's 3G network. This is the Novatel 3G 4G mobile hotspot for Sprint's WiMAX network. When 4G isn't available, it will default to CDMA or an EVDO Rev A connection. The Verizon Wireless mobile hotspot for MiFi is a little bit different than the Sprint model. Both devices feature an electronic ink display here on top. This one's powered down on the top, but once powered up, it will show your reception, your wireless reception, your battery strength, and also there's an LED light indicator here. When it's uh, green, it shows that you're connected to a 4G LTE network. There's also a power button here, so you can hold it and press it on or off to power it down. There are some minor differences compared to the Sprint model. Um, the Sprint model has the charging connection on the top, in the front side, along with a micro SDHC card slot, so you can use the Sprint mobile hotspot made by MiFi to go ahead and share files on the micro SD memory card. On the Verizon wireless model, you don't have the micro SD memory card. The charging port's on the back, and you do have a cover here, which opens to reveal a port so you can connect an external antenna to improve signal strength. On the back side, you have a matte rubberized finish, which is very smooth, and there are little bumps here to keep the device elevated off of a surface to help keep it cool. There's a latch here. Once you push in, you can go ahead and pull off the back battery cover. This reveals a capacious 1500 milliamp battery. And let's go ahead and take, and take out the battery where you will have access to the 4G SIM card. Also on the back battery cover, you do have the SSID here, which will show you the wireless uh, network name along with the password so you can connect devices onto the Novatel MiFi 3G 4G mobile hotspot. Both the SSID and the password can be changed and we're going to go ahead and take a look at that on the web interface right now. Let's go ahead and pull that up. The Novatel MiFi 3G 4G LTE mobile hotspot can connect up to five devices to share the same Verizon wireless mobile broadband connection. So you only need one data plan and you can go ahead and tether five uh, devices over Wi-Fi. In order to connect your computer, this device can connect any device um, that you can enter in a password. All you have to do is go down to the bottom where there's an icon here for your wireless network. Find the MiFi device on the back here, you'll see the SSID, which says Verizon MiFi 4510L, followed by a string of four digit letter or numbers. You want to find that same uh, network name, and then you're gonna connect to it. 
Now it's going to ask you for a security key, which is the password. The password is also supplied on the sticker. It's right under the SSID, and it's a string of numbers. You're going to go ahead and want uh, go ahead and enter that same password in order to connect to the network. So here it says that we're connected to the MiFi and we have good signal strength. Let's go ahead and access the web user interface for the device. In order to do that, open up your browser and type in 192.168.1.1 and it will take you to this um, settings menu. There are different options here. It shows that we are connected to the device. There's an update firmware option. So if new firmware is available, you can go ahead and update your MiFi's firmware so you can improve either speed, signal strength, or connectivity. Um, that will be pushed out by Novatel Wireless and Verizon Wireless. There's also a setup wizard. So you can enter in a password, ch uh, change your SSID, or set up other options and preferences for the first time. I would highly recommend you walking through the setup wizard for the first time setup. Otherwise, you can log into the user interface with the login here. The default password for the interface is just admin, and you're going to go ahead and log in that way. Once connected, you can go ahead and change options for your Wi-Fi, your LAN, wireless connectivity, security, and other advanced settings. So here you can go ahead and do a temporary hotspot, an open one, or a secure one. An open one would allow anyone to access your network without entering a password. There's also the SSID here, which you can change. You can have it um, spell your name or another network name, for instance and you can go ahead and change your wireless network to different settings. Here we're um, allowing 802.11 GBNN to be broadcasted and you can also change your security to different options and also change the network or security key. On the LAN setting you can go ahead and see what devices are connected and the device's MAC address. and you can go ahead and view the APN and the different network um, identifications here. Under security, you have the option to change your password, to filter devices to access your um, network via MAC uh, addresses, which will allow for a more secure network, but would be a little bit more difficult to share your MiFi connection impromptu with nearby colleagues or friends. You can also do port filtering, which will allow different types of devices to be able to access your network. There are various settings and other um, options here as well. And you can also set um, power settings to tell the MiFi to shut down after a certain period of time of inactivity. That way you can conserve battery life. So this is a brief walkthrough of the user interface. Um, the MiFi, although it doesn't have the same MiFi OS as the Sprint 3G, 4G MiFi mobile hotspot, the Verizon unit does offer plenty of options here. Um, you just won't get the elegant interface and the widgets that were present on the Sprint unit. The Verizon Wireless MiFi 3G 4G mobile hotspot offers a very refined and elegant look with a glossy black surface along with chrome borders and a matte black uh, finish on the back and on the side. It retains the compact form factor of the original MiFi 3G mobile hotspot but adds in an e-ink display here which displays your network uh, signal strength along with battery uh, levels. The device retains the compact form factor and footprint, which is about the size of a credit card. It is a little bit larger than a credit card, and the Verizon 4510 MiFi is a little bit larger than the Sprint's um, MiFi unit overall in terms of the 4G model. However, this device offers better connectivity speeds than the Sprint model. The LTE network on Verizon promises download speeds of between 6 to 12 megabits per second 
and upload speeds of between 2 to 5 megabits per second, which is faster than Sprint's 4G network speed on the WiMAX network, which promises speeds of 3 to 6 megabits per second, and upload speeds I've experienced are around 1 megabit per second on Sprint. However, on the Verizon model, you'll be paying for data on a metered usage policy, so you're, you'll either be paying 5 or 10 gigabyte data buckets per month with overages of 1 gigabyte data um, costing extra. The device will also compete with the Sprint MiFi, the 3G, 4G MiFi on Sprint's WiMAX network, along with the OverDrive and the OverDrive Pro. On the Verizon network, this device will also compete with Samsung's mobile hotspot unit, which is also 4G LTE enabled as well. So for road warriors who value speed, the Verizon wireless Novatel MiFi may be the way to go, but for those who value a more economic um, plan, data plan, the Sprint 4G MiFi may be the better bet as Sprint offers unlimited data access on its 4G network. This device is great for anyone who needs to connect devices while on the go and features wireless connectivity over Wi-Fi so you can tether up to five devices such as a laptop, a tablet, a smartphone, or PDA, or you can even share your network connection with your colleague or friends who are nearby rather than having them pay for uh, a daily uh, hotspot access plan at an internet cafe. So for this device, if you're valuing speed and connectivity and want your own secure network, the MiFi 4G from Verizon Wireless is an excellent option. I'm Chang Wen for Notebooks.com and today is a great day to be mobile.